Some lanes of the expressway are still closed down right now. News on 6's Sawyer Bussy is live on the scene. Now, Sawyer, what can you tell us so far? Well, Aaron, we actually just finished speaking to a firefighter who's working this scene right now. He came up from right down below us, went a bridge over Highway 412 and told us what happened. He said that there was a suburban going westbound that flipped over the cable barriers and came into eastbound lanes, colliding head on with a motorcycle. Now, guys, we're going to cross the street. There's no traffic over here and show you where this accident actually ended up. The Suburban collided with this motorcycle. We're told that there were two passengers on the motorcycle, one person in the Suburban. When the car flipped, the motorcycle ended up inside of the Suburban. Now, uh, unfortunately, we're told that the driver um, of the motorcycle did pass away from this accident. The passenger was taken to the hospital in stable condition, and the driver of that Suburban was also transported to the hospital. We know that first responders had to use the jaws of life, life to get the driver of the Suburban out of the car and into the IMSA. Now, this area is obviously extremely backed up. Eastbound lanes um, are completely shut down. They're still waiting on the medical examiner to get here, so if you're going to go eastbound on 412, find another route. Um, as far as westbound lanes go, all three lanes of traffic are into one. So um, it's one lane all the way down here. Uh, traffic's backed up for miles and miles and miles. So if you can avoid this area altogether, do it. For now, on the scene, on the story in Tulsa, Sawyer Bussey, News on 6.